Good evening. This is Ruth with Faye Hello Homestead, and I uh, am getting back into the swing of things from being sick and being on vacation. So it's been like three weeks. I want to show you guys some of the wonderful things that I have discovered in the garden that have appeared that I have not had before uh, over the last three weeks, and we're just kind of like surprises. Um, so this is a surprises of the food forest and the homestead video. First of all, can I just say how beautiful this butterfly bush has gotten? Do you guys remember how dead it was when I, what it, what it looked like when I transplanted it? And it is already blooming again. It is really coming together. And my beauty berries. The beauty berries are actually buried out. So very, very exciting. How gorgeous is that? Oh, wow. Okay, so we're out here in the food forest and oh my goodness, there's some really great things going on out here. I cannot wait to show you. Uh, first off, I'm gonna show you some of my zinnias and they look amazing. Look at that, for neglecting them for three weeks. I mean, goodness gracious. Come out here and I'm gonna cut those back and maybe we'll have some more blooms. Look at the asters, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, guys. Okay, we're gonna go around this way. Let's see. Oh, it's such, such a pretty color. Okay. Look at these asters. Now this is a medicinal aster, and that is what it is. Remember, I was wondering what this was. I couldn't remember what I planted. Well, now we know. Here we go. Asters, so exciting. Now my Juhua is getting ready to bloom. Oh my goodness, it's gonna be covered. Look at this whole thing is just covered. I'm gonna have to cut that back when it's done blooming because uh, it's huge. It's absolutely ginormous. Get to come out here, harvest goji berries, get those all pulled in and dry them off and, and then powder them so I can put them in smoothies. That's exciting. And then coming all the way around Look at this, guys. I still, well, not that one. I still have strawberries that are ripe. This is October, mid-October, and I'm eating strawberries from my garden. I mean, my goodness. Do you see them? They're everywhere. So many strawberries. I'll come out here, I'll gather those up, dry them. Since they're little, I'll put them in my oatmeal or something in the mornings. Look at this Cosmo. Isn't that gorgeous and that cute little spider on it? I'm in love. Oh, there's two of them. I'm in love with these Cosmos. They look like they're painted. Okay, guys, you ready for the most exciting part? Ready, 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 ready? Look at the figs. The figs are ripe. I am so excited. I am so excited. When they bend over like that, that means that they're ready. I'm gonna be out here eating figs every day, harvesting these. I am so excited. This nasturtium is taking over just like I hoped it would. Coming all the way out here, all the way over here. It's just wonderful. And my watermelon, just started doing stuff so yeah that may be too late for that one I'm, I'm not thinking we're gonna get anything off of that because it's mid-october and we only have blooms on it yeah so that's a little bit past its prime but look at these zinnias I'm gonna be coming out definitely to cut these and then I've even got some straw flowers this one bent over a little bit look at that that's just gorgeous I've got them coming up all over the place over here It is time to pick the popcorn. Let me show you how cool this looks. Let me get in there. Look at that. Have you ever seen corn more beautiful? This is glass gem corn. And we're going to be using this as popcorn. Guys, I even have big strawberries that are ripe. This one's a little bit early, but I'm still going to eat it. Oh my goodness. Mmm. 
This is how Sawyer gets in and out of the food forest. Sawyer! So this is just a sea of scarlet sage at this point, and it's absolutely beautiful. I love it so much. Maybe one of them will overwinter, or they'll just drop seeds and start new plants next year. But I think this is just beautiful. I'm not a huge fan of pink and red together, but I like it. And look how big my pomegranate is getting now. That pomegranate really shot up. Last time I saw it was like right here. That's a lot of growth. And the peanuts. Do you guys see the peanuts? I mean, they're looking really good. I mean, really, really good. Look at this. They're huge. I'm excited about that. I'm excited about tomatoes. I'm excited about sweet potatoes doing what they need to do. I'll come out here and I'll harvest before the last frost. Uh, because I want to get those out of the ground before it freezes, but oh my goodness, I kind of dug in there a little bit. We got some good stuff going on with that. Look at how big the Uva Ursi is getting. Last year I planted it, and it was only like this big, and now it's spreading, and it's, it's rooting down too, so it's making it extra hardy. That's very, very exciting to me. Oh, and I need to come out and get the pokeweed berries. Poke berries. They are fully ready to be frozen. I dried a bunch of them, but I really want to freeze a bunch. Definitely label, label the container caution though. But they are, they are all ready for harvest. And this mulberry, it just soars up into the sky. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna cut so much of that and I'm gonna put uh, the twigs into the ground, cuttings, and definitely start new mulberries with those. And I just, isn't that beautiful? Now look at this. This is my white marigold. Now, I didn't see a whole lot of it this year. I think I put them in some places that didn't get quite enough sun. So I'm going to be saving the seeds from these this year and spreading those around for sure. My goodness, though, a white marigold. Have you ever seen such a thing? And then, of course, and then, of course, here's the other pomegranate. Now that I got all the yarrow away from the edges of it, it has more sunlight and so it's really it's doing a lot better now it's getting a lot bigger so i've got a bunch of ripe tomatoes that i need to come out here and pick my lettuce one of them is really starting to bolt i gotta pick off the edges of those apparently i have some brussels sprouts that popped up out of nowhere over there but my peppers are turning red again i gotta harvest those but the tomatoes i really i gotta get those picked some of them are a little bit too late uh, because, you know, it's three weeks of not being out here, so I missed my window on some of them. But it's going to be okay. I got a lot of tomatoes already put up. And the rainbow chard. That is just beautiful. Look at that yellow. Got orange and red and pink. Just beautiful. Got more peppers hiding underneath the leaves back there. Brussels sprouts, cabbage over there. Um, more tomatoes that I need to pick. This is the striped Roma, which is just absolutely gorgeous. This is the Reese tomato, I believe it's called. Um, but it, you can break off pieces of it and the rest of it stays good, which is really cool. Let's see, there was something else I wanted to show you. What is it that I wanted to show you? Well, first of all, I gotta clean this up because I can't walk through it and that bothers me so much. The marigolds are just on fire. Oh my goodness. 
and the verbena came back. I planted a bunch of verbena out in the field too, so that's doing well out in the field. And we got these the yellow cherry tomatoes. I gotta get those in. Hmm. Calendula is still booming. Look at this Grumpy Acante squash. I need to get this out of here. This one twisted in on itself, which I think is super cool. Really neat looking. And these will keep too. And I've got more growing. There's a vine that's spreading back there and there's some growing on it. If I can get through here. And the beets are coming up. I have got to weed this so much and I didn't get a chance to make my cover for the, for the moths because I was sick and going on vacation and I just didn't have time. It was like always the last thing that I had to do. But the beets are coming up. That's exciting. I love beets. Oh my goodness, do I love beets. And look at these nasturtiums. Aren't they beautiful? They're like a pink, a rosy, rosy blush color. More tomatoes. Gotta get the tomatillos. Look at this nasturtium. Scarlet red. Oh my goodness. So beautiful. So beautiful. I would plant that everywhere if I could. And I will. You better believe I will. I can just shake these. And the seeds will fall down. Plant a whole bunch of more of these. We like Joe Pye weed. That's a good thing to have. Look at my spilanthus is is growing or blooming. These are so cool. Some people call them ox eyes, I believe. No, 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 no. What do they call these? Bull's eyes. And these are really cool because they self seed. And when you chew on them, they numb your mouth. They're also known as the toothache plant. They will numb your mouth if you chew on one of the buds or the leaves. The buds are more potent though. So I make a tincture out of these and I use that for anybody who has any uh, mouth problems, mouth pain. And these are now my seeds. Definitely past cooking. But I gotta come out here, I gotta get seeds from the sunflowers. Still have squash growing, although it's got uh, mildew on it, but that's okay, we still got squash growing on it. The fennel is nearing the end of its life, so I gotta come out here and get the fennel seeds. Still have peanuts growing in here, which is very exciting. All the things are exciting to me right now. Another exciting thing is Jeremy's favorite ground cherries are finally dropping. You know they're ripe when they fall. Oh no! So I come out here and I get them for him and I give them to him and he just loves them. Got some kale growing over here. Lots of really beautiful zinnias. And then, I mean, even some snapdragons back here. It's getting wild and wonderful back here. Very, very wild and wonderful. The blueberries are turning purple. We got comfrey all the way up here. That's how tall the comfrey is right there. Oh my goodness. Cherry tomatoes galore. And last but not least, for goodness sakes, Look at the loofah. There's loofah everywhere. I'm so excited about the loofah. Guys, I have been waiting for loofah to bloom. Not to bloom. I've been waiting to be able to grow loofah successfully for a few years now. Uh, for some reason, something's always happened and I've planted it late or something happened and I needed that space for something else. And finally, I got the right spot for it, planted it at the right time. I'm gonna eat one of Jeremy's ground cherries. And uh, I got loofah, and I'm so excited. We're gonna use that with our soaps. Mm. Oh, that's so good. We're gonna use that with the soap 
uh, that we're gonna make. And, and then also, let me show you something else too. Look at all this passion fruit. This passion fruit, when it gets to be wrinkly and a little bit gray-like, that's when it's ripe. And I'm going to harvest it, but it's just covering this whole thing everywhere. If you look underneath any leaf, you'll see a, a passion fruit growing. And that is super exciting to me. Hey, turkey, turkey. What are you doing? You cannot have Jeremy's ground cherries. You having a good morning? Good evening? Yeah? Are you my sweetie pie? I'm gonna be sad when I have to butcher you. I'm very sorry. There's the guineas. Talk about free range, right? Okay, so that's that's pretty much what's going on. Man, there's, it's so encouraging to go out there and see all that stuff, uh, even without being in it for about three weeks. Uh, working on our fourth week now uh, because I've just been so busy catching up with like a ton of things. Um, just so exciting because that food forest is basically doing what it needs to do on its own and you can't ask for more than that permaculture works permaculture works so i'm gonna go in have some dinner with my family i will see you tomorrow i've got some a really great thing that i'm gonna do about permaculture why our system is set up the way that it is um I hope you're interested because I think it's going to be really good. I hope you guys have a wonderful night. Please hit the like button, subscribe, notification bell, all those wonderful things, and stay blessed. Mm -hmm.